Well, breaking news right now. There's been another delay with the departure of Hokulea and Hikianalia. Dallas Ontiveros joins us live from Sand Island with all the details. What can you tell us, Dallas? Good morning, Christine and Ross. Well, developments are coming at us at every minute at this point, but what we know so far is that a crew member who was on a training sail last Thursday tested positive for COVID-19. He's not that person is not part of the voyage that we've been talking about all morning, but because that member is very close with the other crew members who are taking part of this voyage, the Polynesian Voyaging Society is taking a safety precaution and testing everyone at this point. So if that person remains positive or if there's another crew member that is taking part of this voyage that is positive, this could be postponed until a future date. However, if everything goes out well and no one is positive for COVID-19, it could just go back on track. However, we won't know those results until a few more hours, possibly around this afternoon and once all the testing is completed. So we just got this information about 10 minutes ago. So we're still digesting it all at this point. Of course, you saw a lot of people out here, friends and family, wishing them good luck and safe travels. So now it's a little bit of a reroute and a shift on the situation right here. So in the next half hour, we hope to talk to Nainoa Thompson. He's the captain and navigator or also uh, the the doctor or the medical uh, person, a part of this vo voyage, who might join us in the next half hour to give us more details as to what steps they're taking. But this is because of a safety safety precaution, because of someone testing positive last week. Um, we don't know how high the exposure could be, so we'll give you another live update in the next half hour. But for more information as to what we've been covering so far this morning, head over to our website at KHON2.com. Reporting out here on Sand Island, Dallas Anaveros, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii. Dallas, thank you so much for that breaking news again. As Dallas just mentioned, after several delays because of weather, the voyage has been delayed again by this time by COVID. We're not sure exactly when the voyage could begin, but again, we hope to learn that in the next half hour and have an update for you. Thank you so much, Dallas.